we are. Yes, with Gia. We're going over the daily fets. And has anything exceptional happened to you today, Gia? Every day is exceptional, Rue. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. So what was an exceptional thing today? Well, a sad exceptional thing was my Angela. Yes, we're up. No, not up to her uh, yet. But that's okay. She's the angel of yes, my Angela. But, you know, she lived a good life, and she left a big mark on this world. Yeah. So our friend Dennis, he said that, um, you know, it's not even worth mourning it because her life is going to be celebrated. Celebrate. Yeah, exactly. And it's Ellen Beltran. Yeah. I mean, she did more for this world than most people do in, in um, centuries. Yeah. Exactly. And, you know, she's, she's going to say that. I think it's going to be hard to, like, separate her achievements you know, of life. So everything's going to be like all the awesome parts. So she, she looked out that way. Absolutely. But Ricky, uh, by Weird Al, hit number 63 on this day. Does anyone know what song that was, Ricky? Ricky. What song was that? From Weird Al, right? Yeah. So it was it has a parody? Some, it's, it's always a parody. So it's, I'm trying to think of like, what could it have been? Hamburger ZV wins the 28th Europe Cup in Athens. I wonder if that's why it's National Hamburger Day. Because, um, yeah, Hamburger ZV wins. Leonard Maltin's first appearance on Entertainment Tonight was on oh, this wow. day, May 22, which is 28 backwards. So he was May 28, 82. You get it? And uh, I, numbers always do that to me. Uh, <laughs> thing, but why in the world is there a supper club in Kentucky called the Beverly Hills Supper Club because it caught on fire and 165 people were tragically killed on this day in 1977. Well, well, our hearts <coughs> to all of you and you are all angels on our show today. Stephen Schwartz, one of my favorite <coughs> composers of musicals, his musical The Magic Show opened today and it ran for a very long time on Broadway. Paul McCartney releases his second solo album, Ram. Ram is probably one of the best albums that he ever released, I have to say. That was, do you, do you know, my brother used to play it over. There you go. William major first run hit ever on this day, 1951. I do have a thing for today. What's that? On this day in like 2008 was yeah. the first time I ever met you. May 28th? I think so because we were talking about Kevorkian. Oh. And I played that song, oh. It's Never Okay. And you were at the Ru Ruby show. Wow. Ruby World. Oh, wow. <laughs> Ruby's World is where it all started. Yeah, exactly. So Uptown, wow, that's pretty wild, wow. First night game at Yankee Stadium was on this day in 1946, but that's the stadium that no longer stands. Slovakians were murdered by Nazis on And I have to say that these hamburgers come from the Czech Republic, so mwah, thank God for the Czechs, exactly. Uh, the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco opened to vehicular... How do you say that word? Vehicular traffic. Is that right? Yeah. right. Yeah? yeah? Oh, on this day. We say vehicular. Golden Gate Bridge. First all-color talking picture on with the show exhibited in New York City on this day. The Dodge Brothers and Chrysler Corporation merged in 1928. Now, it's, are they separate or the same company today? Dodge and Chrysler, is that the same company? Uh, they're one major corporation, I but there's like subsidiaries, which include Yeah, well, they like, merged on this day in 28. It's like McDonald's and Prisoners. In, in 1923, on this day, check this out, U.S. unemployment has nearly ended. Ha, huh, look what happened huh. now. Exactly. <laughs> History, please repeat itself. John B. Gruel patents the Raggedy Ann doll. 
1915. And I had one. I had a Raggedy Ann. Yeah. Everybody has a Raggedy Ann, right? First indoor swimming pool ever opens on this day in Goodman's Field. And England's Archbishop, Henry VIII and Anne Boleyn's marriage on this day. Wow. Another surviving wife. Yeah. She kept her Anne head. Boleyn. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. we know it's divorced, beheaded, and died. Divorced, beheaded, survived. So, like, she survived. Oh, uh, she's one of the lucky two. She's a fighter. Exactly. <laughs> Birthdays today. It's Kylie Minogue's birthday. Love Kylie. Happy birthday. 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 Brandon Cruz. Got really it. On that. Hey, Roland Gift from the Fine Young Cannibals, the rocker. She drives me crazy. Ardo Lindsay, uh, desperately seeking Susan. He was mm -hmm. the actor in that Cookie. Yeah. Does anyone remember who Cookie was? Mm -hmm. Sandra Locke. Wasn't she married to uh, the guy that spoke to the chair? She's married to Clint Eastwood. Yeah, Clint Eastwood. Yeah. Didn't he speak to the chair? Wasn't it him? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. Sandra Locke is married to Clint Eastwood. Yeah, yeah. The Miss T hey, how are you, Sandra Locke? Exactly. John Fogarty's birthday is today. Gladys Knight. See, Maya Angelou passed away. Maybe because for birthday. Tony Mansfield's birthday. I know Tony Mansfield. He'll he's so cool. Betty Shabazz. Mm -hmm. She was an educator, talk show hostess, and the widow of Mr. Malcolm X. Yes. Mm -hmm. Jack Kevorkian's birthday. I mean, you know, exactly. Everybody feels like that, right? He's a hero, isn't he? Absolutely. You know, what's wrong with this world? Like, he's only giving people what they want, right? It's like we do it for you don't have to be in pain. Why? It's just... Yeah, I, I just don't think it's, it should even be an issue. So you so then you you know you make yourself or you do it dignified with the doctors. Okay. You know Michael Jackson. I don't know about that one, but you know <laughs> Papa John Creech's birthday is today. He was with Hot Tuna, Jefferson Airplane, and totally amazing. Angels. Now we celebrate the ones who passed on this day. And yes, Maya Angelou, she wins the prize of this day. And I hope you're in a great place already. I wonder how long it takes to get there. She probably went straight. Like last night, right? Oh, I think at mm -hmm. 8 this morning, I heard. Yeah, her. it was like early in the morning. Mildred Wilson. She was the journalist and writer of many Nancy Drew books. Died on this. Did you read Nancy Drew? I did not. I only knew that Nancy Drew. I knew it existed. Television show, which I never really watched, though Nancy Drew was Fallon Carrington, and I just loved Fallon, and I knew she was the Nancy Drew before she was on Dynasty, and I, think, yeah. oh, I loved her. I went to Vegas, uh, not Vegas, Atlantic City, mm -hmm. and won like a bunch of money. And I kept saying my name was Fallon. <laughs> I know they were asking for my ID though because I was winning, and they were like, "You're not Fallon." I'm like, "I really am." Phil Hartman <laughs> from Saturday Night Live passed mm -hmm. away at. Yeah. also is an angel with us and then Roy Roberts who was an actor from Petticoat Junction and the Lucy show two amazing shows is an angel with us today so are you ready to meet some people I am ready. all right thank you you straight back oh my